that was the joke, yeah. Hey, everybody. More. <laughs> That's it. It's the intro I'm getting. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I've got this video to go off today. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Lowish. <laughs> Oh. It's worse than that time I did everything wrong. <laughs> so, unless you've got anything else, which I doubt you do. <laughs> no offense, but. Nope. Um. Guys, we're going up the, uh, the elevator. <gasps> Okie dokie, artichoke. Where was that at? Uh, you have to teleport to the Grim Forge. You're crazy. <laughs> I, I didn't even say anything. Love much of crunching on ice. Mm -hmm. I love much of crunching on ice. It's my favorite thing to do. I don't care if it's bad for your teeth. They're all gonna come out anyway. Tie scary. up any loose ends. <laughs> yeah, okay. Huh? No. I'm giving it to make sure it's happening in the sense. Yeah, okay. Rising to moonrise with moonlight light. Yeah. Okay. I, thought, I thought it was good. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you streaming? What's your stream called, huh? I'm not. Leave Act 1. Yes, there we go. I can't even leave. Can't. Offer our pain to the Lady of Loss, that she may truly know her faithful. We offer ourselves to the darkness, that Blessed Shah may give us her mercy. We offer our prayers to the Dark Lady, whose comfort and grace heals all. Let me show you. Ahead. Not over. Then the um let's see. I'm gonna guess the thing special based on that response. Um some stuff. And you never remember. No. Like elixirs and then two torches. Well because um you need light. Is that what? You need light to avoid the spell playing. Oh! <laughs> There's the uh, key for that chest. <laughs> uh. Who the fuck is this guy? It's a wizard. There, wanderer. Elements Stay, all. Stay thy course. That name sounds. Oh, look, okay, he's got the, uh, the, the tiger, Stygian tiger tuck charm. He does have this Stygian tiger amulet. <laughs> May Don't I know that guy. inquire who's asking? Should it be the nature of our acquaintance that interests you? Well, you may safely classify Gail and I as friends. Should it be the nature of your present interlocutor that you desire to... Drag from the dark and unknown. 
I shall be glad to aid in your quest for illumination and identify myself as Elminster. Elminster Omar. Now, if this answer satisfies you, let us linger no longer in this awesome. limbo of indecision. Awesome. Settle okay, cool. on your knowledge of the individual I seek. I feel like, right, I shouldn't tell him. Because he's talking like how you think a wizard would talk, so that means he's not supposed to. All right. Ever a man of leisure. Would it pain you greatly to assist me along the little voyage I intend to undertake to this aforementioned camp? Sure, let's go. And I would confirm it to be so. Please. After you. It, it just appears automatically, so don't. I understand. <laughs> hey, Gail, buddy. Uh, you got a friend here who is <laughs> uncomfortably over your shoulder. <laughs> I'm standing back to back. <laughs> I want to have a word. My thanks for your excellent guidance. Ah. And yonder I spy the object of my pursuit. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. I don't understand. How so on my behalf? I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gale. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. This feels like Yonder the weirdest roleplay ever. Has your like when the DM starts talking to himself. <laughs> to your decorum as well as your patience. Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare. Worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. You forgot to bring his own water, he's complaining. <laughs> Some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you won't begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get, get out with it. And a great kindness that would be. See, Gail? Even in these I've got like fucking pots, 20 pounds of food on me. Yeah, sure. Here's some pizza. Oh, jeez. A whole loaf. Only one keeps up the practice. Oh, for the love of. Fine, fine. I'll turn a deaf ear to the clarion calls with which my scorned stomach beseeches me. Jesus Christ, who is this guy? Dude, spit it right. out, man. <laughs> Plenty to digest. After all, <laughs> Just fucking as many words as you can fit into a sentence. Over, if you will, words ladled with import should be savored so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Right. Um. Keep see, it <laughs> I. Um. Well, that is to say. Gail, my boy. I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message. And the charge I bring you are hers. 39 shipping ahead. Oh, Mistra's delicate feet are ill suited for the hardships of the road. You know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so. You're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Mistra is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the absolute, that most insidious of evils. The 
alas, the creature that afflicts you, the ill-begotten magic that it weaves, is inextricably conjoined with both the greater purpose and the greater master that it serves. You must know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. This guy still asks you. Threatens you know, Gale, yeah, his corpse, gods, like, you know, on the road back there. The very fabric of the yeah. universe itself. Yeah. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief that only you can. The orb. Precisely. The orb, ah. Mistress has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or I said keep my eye. We shall have to see. Yeah. The left one has a gold thing in it. You must find yeah. the heart of the absolute. Whatever that may be. And use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. Deep's going to do a suicide bombing? He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistress Price. What good is redemption in that? I've said my sorry piece. I need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. Level one Gale seems like Bobby. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the sky strewn gods ordain the time. So, wouldn't that probably kill us too? Mortal days. He did say an explosion the size yet, of water deep. An ocean born in lonely hours. Come, ebb, come. Feels like you can never get far enough away in time. All that is beyond the breadth yeah. of our dominion. Yeah. Be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Stabilize, ooh, achievement. Gail, my buddy. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. The doddering act is merely an illusion, one he's most adept at maintaining. Elminster is the most formidable wizard in the realms, perhaps in existence. <laughs> For Mistra to have sent him. The severity of her bidding could not be clearer or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. 
A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. Of course. We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. Possibly the most spectacular one ever conceived. But essentially, yes. I'm living on borrowed time in more ways than one. Perhaps. Perhaps this is how it must be. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. Lord. Let's save such certainty for the moment such a decision is upon us. We may feel differently once we know what we're truly up against. Yeah, I've been I've given permission. You wanna be before you die? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, we can. Anything on? Yeah, I had some scrolls. Make sure you have a light up. Uh, well, too late. Oh, we should be fine with this. It works. So I I don't know what I expected, but damn, this place is cursed. I won't have to worry about the sun, at least. What a fucking face. I've never <laughs> seen darkness like this before. It's unsettling. Why do I need light? Because uh, the darkness will debuff you. Something like that. I'm not exactly certain. I'm gonna be honest. But. Something, something you need light to obey the curse. Oh, wow. So you can put a torch, torch, you can put a torch in somebody's inventory and just turn on torch button. Still breathing, despite everything. So on the uh, underneath the rage weapon button, there's a like thirst toggle. Let's see. Oh, that sucks again. So much torch that we have for if we need it. To torch toggle. I don't know how to do that. So, um, you see where it says use range weapon? You know, when you like. Switch between what, melee and range. Ah, uh, that's what you mean. It's. And you might want to give it to a stair just in case. I don't know if, you know, I, I know we can obviously walk straight too far from each other. And, you know, I don't know what the effect is overall. But better safe than sorry. I don't know where my other one went. Did you take it out of my inventory? Yeah, there's some more here. Over here. Take it out of my inventory. Uh, nope. Let's see,
is heavy. What's in here? Human journal, need to progress the mountains, seen first for central moon all in fear. Uh, as grave as our shoot of how she learns were, they made still lacking, still lacking in creates reality. Shall make camp soon and press on in the morning. Though in truth, such terms have little meaning in this place. But for night, the campfire needed thrice the wood that was only needed in order to keep burning. Terrible sounds came to my ears from beyond the firelight. The rest has not restored me. If anything, it made, I feel weaker. But I must persevere. I tr must trust with uh, Sylvanus. I must venture deeper. Creatures from the darkness. Foul things must graze me. Only my torch saved me. In deep dark, flames are instantly doused. The wounds sting. Flesh is burnt, turning black with corruption. The shadows are growing stronger. They are spreading. I need to return to light. The wound, the wood will not burn. I can barely see the page. Research on the nature of the shadow curse. Good to know. They are all around me. I'll give it a shot. Is that enemies down there? Oh, it's carpets. Eyes open. Watch the shadows. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, folks. It's me. Not a uh, but, but I do have one of your badges. The undead guy. Stay together. Keep to the light. Yeah, she went so aggressive with Irish. Pretty fucking, you know, pretty good looking. <laughs> Come closer. Hands up. Is that knockoff troll? Jonas, move in. God, you see this cat? Mm, yep. Jonas! I'm here! Where are you? Jonas? Can you see our torches? I can't see anything! Some, something's wrong. Follow my voice. Come back to the light! Who's there? Jonas isn't gonna be in Baldur's Gate 4. Huh? So Jonas isn't gonna be in Baldur's Gate 4. Uh oh. <laughs> Up here, you want to switch your weapon back out? I uh, realize that now.
did Lethe get to go? Christ, I should have shielded. <laughs> Can't yell, Jonas, what are you doing as you stab him? <laughs> I don't think this harbor's gonna live. I don't think I'm gonna live. Like it drain you dry. I feel it too. It was too light. Losing energy. No. Losing focus. I can't go any further. Help. Uh... 
catch my breath. I'm just hitting that one fucking thing. Close up to a stair and that he's not suffering from the shadow. to dispel these shadows somehow you sense a young woman gazing at moonrise towers in awe perhaps one day she will get to gaze out from atop it she hopes in her former life this girl played in the nearby woods she was always the best at climbing trees what to do See a man stalking slowly through the woods, bow half drawn. If he bags a deer, the whole family will be kept fed all winter. Chew me up quick. Uh are we in turn base still? Yeah, I don't know why. We should pick up the lights again. So you wanna do a uh do a heal right now? You don't wanna make an enemy of me, friend. I was just gonna say it would do short rest if you had a heal to do after. Right before. Oh no, wait, well let me do my heal before that's, that's you what do I'm saying, anything. yeah, that's what's asking if you wanna do a heal. Huh. I think it's because we keep entering the shadow curse, so the game's automatically kicking in the turn base to give you a chance to just think about it before it starts killing you. So in the short rest you wanna hold. Okay. Pull out your torch. For uh, the MP1, you want to hold on to the the short rest for now, because we're almost full. If you want to, I think it's just a better idea to hold on to it for when we need it, rather than the, so you can just get your ability back and you know. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Last light. Teacher, 
and harp regent. Orders scouting the shadows. Lysandra. But now that we have all our torches out, it's not going to turn into a shadow combat anymore. Time to press ahead. I'll take that. Where are we going? What's going on? Grabbing some reagents. Actually, not the way they came. And let's hope a dead bird is the creepiest thing around here. That dead bird being corrupted by the shadows. It would be wise to leave it alone. Well. <laughs> oh. That was boy. a wee bit too late. Mind um, if I uh, do a little bit of damage to you? Uh, kill me? I don't think it will. No, just hold on. Okay. I think I'll probably get rid of all those birds in one fell swoop. Be able to. Oh, they only have one hit point. Yeah, but it takes a whole action to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> no, yeah, I know. Just missed that. <laughs> no, and I had a weapon, or I had a thing in my hand, oh, so I like... couldn't even sweep. Oh, okay. Is that action to pull out your weapon? Yep, yep, yep. yep. Oh, but dead birds not the weirdest thing we see. Or is, is the weirdest thing we see. Me. Oh, those birds are fucking cursed. Don't touch them. 50 birds fly out in the sky. We heard you saying curse! <laughs>
Yes. <laughs> Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Hey, good looking. It's up here, I can't get that off my son. This is just on the roof. It is locked. On the roof? Yes. Right there. But it is locked. And I do not have the skills to pick it. I need to get for that. Have you think to get torch out then? God, we need to find a working fairy land. Katarine? Why does that not work? I'm standing under a light. It, it it's just it's just weird, man. I I don't know. But if we can find the fairy lamp, there's a way to get it to affect the saw. <laughs> In that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Just fucking launches the chest off the off the mountain. Into the abyss. For real. Straight to the underdark. No <laughs> do not pass go, do not collect anything from the chest. Money. And a fire amber. And a fire amber. Sounds pretty. No one stopped me yet. <sighs> Save. Best be on my way. Let's get the going. This, does. this place is protected for a warm bed and full stomach. Look no further. Welcome to the Last Light Inn. Oh, safety. No shadows here. Something must be keeping it at bay. Hey guys, uh, hope you don't want to see your friends again. You Step forward and keep your hands off your. Oh, hey, I know you. Who are you? <laughs> Do you? Oh, apparently no. Hey. Looks all like the other lady. A sorcerer would emerge from the darkness of all places. Just keep your hands where so I can me. see them and follow me. Come. <laughs> I like that fucking dwarf. He just looks like a regular man, <laughs> but short. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this one. Oh, GC old. <laughs> wow. Hey, uh, do you have some runs in the road? She looks like a bit like the uh, the male the male wizard from, or the male sorcerer from <laughs> the D D movie. Didn't see that. I know. So. Hello. A 
Absolutely. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... ...it's that it knows its own kind. You should never have come here, true soul. She's the one who protected the Emerald Grove. Yep. I remember that lady. Didn't leave a goblin Look at standing. Me. Not so bad to hang around with either. Save two of my friends. One friends. from a harpy and one from a mad druid with a <laughs> Save two of my friends. Didn't make a fuss of our thieving either. I'd pretty much trust her with my life. <laughs> True soul. Come to your eye. How is that possible? I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What happened to your eye? Fair enough. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh, what happened to your eye? Bitch, what happened to yours? Oh, well, my bad. I've met no. I let a bard stick an ice pick in it. And I've met many. Now speak plain. How do you have control? Fine. I she can take it from me. I found a d20 in the woods. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. What in the hell is that thing? I'm not entirely sure, man. Lethe's magic orb. Your guess is as good as mine. Strangest magic I've seen since roaming the ruins of Mithdranor. But I can't argue with the results. Congratulations! What are happening to me? Those, the you know, let the Shadowheart die Hear and look at the artifact. All clear, at ease. I guess it would just come to you anyway. I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. Yeah. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me. Why have you come here? <laughs> you hear that? Then you found an ally in me. For that is precisely why I am here. Well, there's helicopters. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too, <laughs> if you require rest. Elo oil in the cupboard. In case oh, the that's okay. Gave you a rash. <laughs> Settle in. Then come this join me. Where's the elo? <laughs> you may just Whoa. be the god <laughs> we've been praying for. Whoa. Yeah, are you sure? Yeah. There, right? I don't feel like I trust you with that. <laughs> you're allergic to grass, dude. I don't know why you wouldn't. Because <laughs> you're allergic to grass. What's aloe but big grass? Um, a cactus. <laughs> what's, what's a cactus? <laughs> big old grass. It's not a prickly grass. It's a from Saravok, a ball sport trying to plunge the city into war. My mum used to tell us stories about them. The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid. Adamant. Tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero and I was always... some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! Probably like fucking hyped for the shit. <laughs> Jahira wants to know about supplies. Will we make it home? Burning through our oil, but it should just about do. Just about? Just about. We shouldn't hang around too long, though. Good moment to talk. Oh, oh my god, cat! Oh my god, me! A what? A melee thing. <laughs> A male thing. A mini one. There's a pink haired dwarf running around. Well, Lethe has purple hair. Uh <laughs> <laughs> that's <for> Alondra. <laughs> hey, True. But since you're asking. Oh, 
Got a, got a meal. You're all right by me. She has an amulet of heartbreaks. Oh, and she. No, but well, she, she has gold on her, but who knows where? Is that just the I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Did you sell stuff to her? No, no right? Why? I went to buy her potions. And I put them in my inventory, then all of a sudden the rest of her uh <laughs> the rest of her inventory appeared. Oh. So scroll of banishment. Oof. It's definitely situational. Arrow of abjuration sling. Aberration sling. Obsidian laced rope. Successful so safe throw against the full spell. Oh, it's definitely better than the one I have. I'm going to Or... Need bull strength and increase your strength by two. That's not helpful. This would probably be better for a car like she would burn for. Iridescent Staff. Grants resistance to fire damage. Plus one to range spell attacks. Like that. Sorry, he's got some good stuff here. Some muddy red dot. That sounds interesting. of balanced hands. Oh! These are good for, uh, Asterion. Want to get these as well. So it would, Well, uh, I just might. I would have to be in the inventory. I'm trying to tell you what they do. <laughs> okay. They allow him to fight better with his two-weapon hand, two-hand fighting. Uh, what? So... It allows him to, um, uh, so when you make an attack with your offhand weapon, you can add your ability modifier to the damage of the attack, so you can do more damage with it. It's attack. Mm -hmm. So, let me just get so many gods. Keep it Yeah, we can talk to her for a bit. Uh oh. God's blood, this is heavy. I end up with all the must have sent me all these scrolls. Do what? So you must have sent me all these scrolls. 
long. <laughs> Shut up. I was just like, when the fuck did my inventory get so full of scrolls? <laughs> Can I, I hate why, I don't know if it's my mouse or if it's the game being fucking. Cloud kill. Ugh. Ugh. That's a fucking dirty spell. I need to remember that I have some of these scrolls and this could be useful. But like, oof. I'm like a fifth level spell. At least fourth. Probably more for the fun. Remove first, that's important. Schmidt, important. Except the demon. if it actually fucking works. Enemies always save out of my bullshit. Yonti's scale mail. Scale mail? Yonti. Kind of weird, conceptually. I'm assuming it's made by Wanti. Not made of Wanti. <laughs> Which would be a lot worse. Like, you know. Imagine if your scale mail was made of a Naga. And just when you consider those Naga effectively people. <laughs> Sorry, I bet you will see that you get out of there. Oh, okay. Oh, hey! Good sense for horned freaks, and that ox is one of them. Karlak, I thought you'd be in the city by now. We were ambushed by cultists. I found the uh, the tiefling. Half of us were captured. The uh, oh, the Frank blacksmith. Off the anvil into the forge. We'll find them, hopefully. Before you run off into the belly of the beast, there's something I need to tell you. Well, two things. Good news and bad news. The good news, obviously. I only need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Karlik to... Touch people! Exactly! Oh my god. Actually, you have like fucking like, three pieces of really iron, buddy. Fuck. It's been so long. We've got the iron. Let's do this thing. Hang on. I think you'll want to hear the bad news too. Yeah, Let sure. Me kill you. <laughs> but first, fix me. Please. Fine. Well, go on then. I don't enjoy saying this, Karlak, but there's no two ways about it. Your engine is going to blow and I can't fix it. I'm not sure anyone can. It's simply too hot to exist here in the material plane. Unless you return to Avernus, for good, this thing is going to blow. Sooner rather than later. But... But still, you, you can give me something that will let me touch again, right? safely yes but that's all i need to know do it please well all right this shouldn't take long
Same as last time. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. So did it work? Only one way to find out. Okay. Hey, bitch. You don't want to be here, Liz. <sighs> Listen. It's time. Make out. Hi, mommy. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> this time. <laughs> you were all right. No burns. Can we go to bed now? <laughs> Jesus Christ, wow. woman. Oh. Uh, touch starved. Oh, <laughs> There's something I need to tell you. Not forever. That engine of yours. Oh no, she will blow up. It's contained for the moment, but it's just too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. I know you know that, but the thing is, there's a cure. I wasn't making any headway with the mechanics, none at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. You have to return to Avernus. For good. Or this thing is going to burn you up from the inside out. And sooner than you think. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will force me back into service. I'm not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be better with you in it. Even in Avernus. I won't stop trying to figure out a cure, but... At this point, I think we all have to face the inevitable. He's like, you're an idiot. You fell in love with the it, fucking it, magma it's not machine. Even, it's not even giving me an option here. He's just staring at me. <laughs> you read my mind. Thanks, Damon. Really, you've given me more than I could ever repay. It's been my pleasure. Good luck. Both of you. Look after yourself, all right? It's you. What are the odds? So glad you're all right. Well, as all right as any of us. A makeshift Harper's fire might not be where I hope to set up shop. But maybe I've got something you can use anyway. And if you find any interesting materials in need of working, I'm happy to help. I hesitated to mention this back in the Druid's Grove, for obvious reasons, but no one has earned my trust if not you. When Elturel was dragged into Avernus, I was drafted into a Devil's Smithy. It should have been awful. But infernal metal is like a wild horse. Powerful. Exuberant. <laughs> It'll kill you if you lack technique. <laughs> I can sense Smell it. Well, oh, you not, you're not I seeing this conversation? No, sorry. Oh, uh, no, he's I talking about uh, how the uh, find it. Bring it the infernal iron is like a wild horse, incredible. you know. Oh. Absolutely. Rare to get your hands on this stuff. Well done keeping it to hand. Did he take me the scraps I had? There you are. And be careful who you show that to. It might draw the wrong kind of attention. Blood held dust. And then we, Sarah, just want to actually need to things. Hmm. 
Close that, so then I'll... Swordmaster gloves. That's actually kind of neat. So it makes you stupid, but uh, get stronger. Mm -hmm. He's got a like a a uh, halibird. Right? It lowers your intelligence and wisdom, but ups your strength by two. Okay. Let's get see what the other one is. It's just so exciting. I'll be here if you need it. Oh my god, are you kidding? What'd you say? I think I sold her weapon by accident. You sold him your weapons? I sold her, I sold one of them fucking Parlax weapon. Wow. Well, because when you equip your fucking torch, it puts your weapon in your bag. Yeah. And, you know. Sort of life stealing. Carlac wants to talk. Yeah, I know. I just, I'm just buying a weapon from her. Okay. Mm -hmm. 8 to 17 or. A new cape. Huh? Yes. Oh, it's Kiyu. There's my. Nice shrink, let's see. I'm gonna pull this right, then it's a strength. Extra, but you know what? Fuck it. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. Put that to her. I do not know what I'm It's not down to seven. <laughs> oh. Can't give up now. This is the best day. The best day. <laughs> Me too. Whenever you want to turn in, I'd love to take this whole touch thing for a test drive. I know we have important things to do, but we deserve a little sweetness too. Listen, I'm never going back. If you said I could die right now or live a thousand years in the hells, I'd choose to go out now with my freedom intact. I don't expect anyone to understand that. But I've been dealt a hand most people don't have to contemplate playing. Not always. Not this. I'm sorry. But this one is mine. But... I don't want to talk about this now. I've been given a huge gift. I can touch the people I love for the first time in a decade. And for the first time in a decade, there are people I care about all around me. Oh shit, y'all talking there? Yeah. Oh. Let me enjoy that. Please. Thanks, soldier. 
I just want to celebrate this. At least for she a just wants to fuck, bruh. What a charmer. Lend an ear. No. Still incapable. Not for you to know. Wow. Gambling, man. <laughs> I like gambling. <laughs> Let go. Well, I don't like that angle. Come close. Your mind to mine. Oh, I was freaking said a fucking mind. Like a parasite. What in the shit? Are you satisfied? Secret. Keep quiet, and you won't have to find out. Good little hero. Good question. If I were to use that banishment scroll, <laughs> conceptually, or we just get rid of this ox forever, right? Maybe. Well, it's just like temporarily. Which I don't know if it functions like the real one where like he's not native to this plane and he'll come back. Like, he'll leave forever. How much farther can I go? Legendary king of the forest. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. Legend has it his kingdom ran from the wood of sharp teeth to cloak wood. How'd he end up here? Seems someone's been skimming our supplies. Is anyone keeping an eye on those children from Eltorel? Maybe not, Mom. Moving ahead. Don't wander far. We need to talk. Premium trinkets and doodahs! Welcome to our humble... Wait, are you Karlak? A lot of us were in Avernus. We saw you fighting. You were so good. Well, I, uh... Yeah, I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can. But if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. I saw you lay out a more demon in two hits. Bam, bam. We were all like, whoa. How'd you learn to fight like that? <laughs> Had to. Life didn't pull any punches. It was up to me to learn to take a hit and deal one back. I've been tossed around a lot too. Uh, I want to learn how to fight back too. From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those, and you may find you never need to use your fists at all. In that case, want to buy a lucky ring I found? Ah! Nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the greats in no time. It is, isn't it? Hope he makes it out of this mess with his wits in one piece. I'd like to see him set up in a proper home in the city. 
Every kid deserves that. Last life. Check it out. We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. Oh, I guess because that was supposed what do you to be, need? that was dialogue for the mob. Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone, but I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Maul gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack a day. Robbing a kid. Robbing a kid by tricking him. Because he's dumb. Natural 20 on robbing a kid. <laughs> but she put me in charge of the shop. I, I thought... <sighs> Never mind. Here. You can have it then. Oh, poor kid. Oh, kid, no, come back. I want to buy stuff. You have it. <laughs> I, I give the kid the brush. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's why he's walking. Like he's going to listen to you play music. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's your yes, uh, everybody. Your bard friend is here. My boyfriend. Bard friend. The girl you wrote a song with. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> She's the only person who does not give a shit about your music, though. Here comes short one. <laughs> no, just off she goes. God, you are just holding up these. I can't even talk to any of them. <laughs> <laughs> They're all too enthralled in your fucking. <laughs> one second. Yeah, that's right. That's it, Kat. From all I'm over. angry! <laughs> I'm sure like half those NPCs were literally instantly incinerated. <laughs> 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 that make you feel good, Brandon. Yeah. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Sometimes cat you need a little bit of chaos. That's true. You light him up by you line him up by light him up with a fucking bolt of light. <laughs> Oh, you missed it, Cat. You missed Bye, your opportunity. Everyone. That was your chance to Robert. switch to Asterion and start robbing them from behind. <laughs> I can't do that. You could. I mean, Asterion could. Don't be shocked. In the market for something special? Evasive shoes, plus one acrobatics, plus one armor class. Cloak of Cunning Broom. The wear disengages. They also create a foggy cloud within seven or eight feet that lasts for one turn. You want a cl uh, cloak for Asterion? <laughs> oh my god. I can't tell if these are joke items. Like, that's actually really good if, it, if it's real. But, Spoon of Saltiness. When salting food, the bearer of this shadow-cursed utensil will always add too little or too much. 
Well, never the right amount. Truly, the vicious, the, the viciousness is top tier. Debbie's good. The canter nearly endless water. This is a canter can, in fact, sometimes run out of endless water. However, it will definitely regain its properties next day, the day after, for sure. Fishing rod of alertness. The wielder of the wielder of this rod cannot be surprised unless something unexpected happens. Sending shell. Faint whispers creep from the uh, sending shell when you hold it close, yet the method of sending messages from it is unclear. Arrow of Sparrow Slaying. Magic weapon meant to slay a particular kind of creature. Sparrows, in this case. The arrow will grievously wound sparrows. It hits the poor wee winged fellows. Cloak of Cunning Broom. When the wearer disengages, they also create a foggy cloud within seven feet. It will last for one turn. One of the relics deep doors Rebella's children. Children found nothing but of use in the vault uh, and were discouraged. But the morning, the vault keeper's son, who admired the children, sought them out in his arms and brought a wraith of things forged in shadow. Oil of diminution. Diminution? Coat your weapon in oil, which is a minus one penalty to damage, but targets failing constitution save suffer disadvantage on strength, strength checks and saves. That's some weird shit. Pleasure. Premium trinkets and doodles. Be careful up there. All right. I can't handle anyone else. I really don't like the color scheme. <laughs> Still alive. Cheese boys? Yeah, her like, cotton candy look. Oh, I love it. It's not for me. Do they have any like regular clothes that I can buy? Last night's best bargain, right here. Surprised there isn't like cloth here. Wonder what like I wish you could like preview what the clothes would look like once you dye it. It's a kind of it's got a kind of cool like armor. color to it, I guess next scheme to it. But also see if that terrific my die has gone missing. Your die? Yeah. Thought I had a bunch of like seed dye. I don't see any of it. Wait, did you give me the sword? What sword? Steel forge sword. Steel forge sword. Where'd it come from? I don't know. Maybe... Oh, did did you have that adamantum strap on, on him? Huh? What? Did you have the adamantine strap on him? Adamantine strap? The... I don't know. I don't know. I think... I don't know. He, he said, I said something about uh, uh, the, the, the metal I found in the, the Dwarven Ruins. So I don't know if, he, if she was talking about the Infernal Iron. But I'll just in case. Did you say that there was a cape for Asterion? Yeah, I don't know if it's actually real, but there's a, oh, okay. um, the, the kid, right, he's selling a, a cloak that will generate fog when he disengages. And since, you know, he's not wearing a cape anyway, you know? Whoa, that's not true. Is he wearing a cape? Something's on my mind. Cape of nothingness. If you're alright by Jahira, you're alright by me. Is that counts, Kat?
12. Good. Premium trinkets and doodars. Oh, interesting. I say this. This is my territory, and you're in it. Mm, I'll allow it. You've had enough. Now go. Quickly. Yes. Good of you to notice. For my part, I have noticed the cleric is a liar. She promised me a bit of milk. But do you see any milk, do you? Not do I oh, disgraceful. Okay. <laughs> exactly how Brutus thinks. I slinked, of course. Hints, I say hints. Get out of my space. <laughs> Well, hello, Isabel. What the fuck are you doing? Oh. No, wait, no. What are you? What are you doing? It's a new day to wake up. What cat am I just happening to pretend you did slip in the room late? <laughs> did she, she fart? Know. That's why her cake. That's why her cape did that. Do what? You see her the cape like flap? Who's going to say yeah. Did she just pass gas? I'm Isabel. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. It's the one that goes out wearing cape when you were pretending to rip ass. You know? <laughs> We've been waiting, hoping against hope, for someone like you, free from the absolute's influence. Yet, able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. I'm not sure about Jahir has sent you to uh, protect Shadow her favorite cleric. I mean, she's fucking fisticuffs with this immediately. Oh, yeah. Stairs, what the fuck's happening? Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. I hope that affects me. There is, actually. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. Is that a helicopter? <laughs> Never a dull moment. Don't be shy! Have a gander at the finest... Don't cut me out of your scene, you know. Hello, Isabel. It's like fucking Marcus, Nandor. Is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. What the fucking name is what we call Isabel? Instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick alive. something to say say it
Okay. Okay. I feel like, you know, if this turns into a fight, <laughs> don't need to fucking have <laughs> Carlac jump up to the second floor while I'm while I'm stuck fucking chugging down the road. <sighs> okay. Pathetic. The absolute sees all. Your treachery will be punished. The absolute. Of course. He gave me the chicken wings. Believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. He already has. I wanted sick wings. That's my only wish. God, I'd be a bigger fan of your makeup if it was filled in. <laughs> if it was what? If it was filled in, instead of just like, you know, like the outline of it. Oh! <laughs> there goes the kid! <laughs> it is. Well, does she we didn't talk to fucking Jezebel first? Mia! Huh? I said, what do you want from me? I, again, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not blaming you, I'm just saying it's a real shame we didn't talk to her at first. No, we're well, never gonna get the opportunity. Talk to her. I didn't think vampires would pass through the ceiling, cat. <laughs> Whatever they fuck these things you. are. Huh? Well, why didn't you? Because I'm not, you know... I don't... <laughs> Fertilizer. Yeah, I think there's gonna be a lot of fucking a lot of dead hard person soon. Is it, what the fuck did you just cast on? I might spell the The druid just kinda like cast a fucking ice shower somewhere. No, no real explanation. Can you count? No. Why? I fucking I think I'm I think I'm schizophrenic. I'm using even whispering. <laughs> <laughs> fucking losing it, homie. <laughs> Knocked her out and then just grabbed her and I guess forced us all out of the house. And glad we're just letting him do this. Also, he's got some fucking some really feminine lips. Like he put on his fucking makeup today. He did. Planning our demise all along. Listen closely. Blood all over you. Very little time. 
Even if last light falls, you must destroy the cult of the Absolute. Their leader is a man called Kedrick Thorn. He resides in Moonrise Towers, and we found him to be impervious to the blade, <laughs> and to magic to boot. Even so, you must find him, and you must kill him. As impossible as that task sounds, there must be a way to break the spell that makes him invincible. There are secrets in this ancient waste hidden from... But hark. <laughs> Just that thing collapsing in the background. happening. They'll all be taken by the shadows. Only by the grace of Isabel's spell will we be spared the same fate. We cannot hesitate. Not even for those we knew. Those we cared for. They're no longer who they were. Still your hearts and steady your hands. Oh, fucking. To battle. I really hope Blacksmith guy lived. My turn. <laughs> oh boy, the whole camp turned. Oh no, the blacksmith guy. God damn it. I swear to god this affects the fucking quest and be really angry. Brandon, just undo what I did. I don't know if it, yeah, I don't know. It's like story shit. I don't know if it's gonna fucking undo. I could have just not talked to her. Yeah, but I I don't I don't know if that's gonna you know. Okay. Oh. You ready? If we start if we die here, then I'll undo it because we are all low health already. I don't know if you know. I'm not sure how much undoing that you know what I mean. What did she turn into a puma? Wonder if the gods are watching me.
Cash patrol. Oh, okay, cool. What's that? Uh, a hentai. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is, a, this is about to go, this is about to go bad. This is not how I wanted my experience to come. <laughs> Stop being so stingy with the spell slots. Oh, they can move. It's a good thing our the druid is a uh, panther. Being facetious. <laughs> yes, cat. And she can't cast healing spells as a panther. <laughs> she, but she chose this life. She's a panther now. She live in the forest. There goes my favorite fucking blacksmith. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, this is literally, I do not think you understand. This is not your fault. I'm not blaming you. I'm just confused at what fucking turn the game's taking. Uh, I want a Tifo or something? Oh, no. Uh. Torch, I think it's being fire damage. I guess you completely avoided me. What? So I guess you completely avoided me. Oh, no. Come on. I fucking go down, and this Therion over here is like, I don't fucking give a shit. You know, cause, you know, they, they're not gonna fucking, like, code in the name Lipe. My dear? My love? He, he's probably gonna fucking know. He's like, you know, 50 feet away, away fighting three, two guys in a fucking tentacle. Oh, they're undead? Yeah, because like, they got turned by the shadow curse. When the shield went down. I think this is going to go turn very south in the next turn. <laughs>
<laughs> Things coming for me. Throw a potion at us. Oh my god. I don't think we're supposed to win this. Why, like, why? What happened? Did you not see the, did, did the tree two, just show up? A whole ass fucking tree just popped out of the ground. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't worry, Sterian's got this part handled. <laughs> god, there's so much more over there. Oh my god. I'm being surrounded. Oh, don't worry, can't you stabilize? <laughs> Karlak's dead. I'm dead, and uh, Asterion's not alive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right before the fireball. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> oh, I don't think I did anything specific after that. Just please, please wait to go up there. I think you saved while I was talking. You saved while, oh no, no, I saved while you were playing the instrument, remember? Because I saved, I said, no one's talking to me, and then I fireballed the entire group. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you know what I saved while we were talking? I do have all the saves. No one's talking to me. Oh, <laughs> Dad won't let me play the loot. Let them free. Yeah, let my people go. Okay, let's talk to this one first. See if maybe, you know, that has an effect will on... Be, I will be good and I will take a seat. Please. Be welcome. Have a <laughs> this is so much nicer. <laughs> oh my god. What? This is so much nicer. <laughs> Do you fucking wing four is flying through the roof and a chicken winged a chicken winged bat you know. We're on a date. Yeah. I mean it's an honor, milady. <laughs> Tips for Dora. <laughs> your health as well, Starlack. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Ken. <laughs> well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when <laughs> Stereon. you get their hands on them. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> we're going on a date! About you. Something uh, alien. Answer me true, and do not lie. The parasite is changing you, isn't it? And you're certain you will continue to resist? Good. I will take your word for it. Okay, Babushka. And hold you to it, too. I have every reason to be cautious. Talking to those ladies, talking about shit, and that's like just you. back there trying to drink with a stick. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. <laughs> the cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. General Gadric Thorm. Remember that name. There you go. He's the leader We're on a of date. the Absolutists. He was a Sharan once. Let's see, I got Bible to cast. <laughs> building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. 
go. Alongside the local druids, oh wait, can I light these candles between us? Dead and buried. Lovely. But he's returned. Not only does General <laughs> Catherick Thorne live again. I just again, used the air keep scooting off the plate shovel and just ain't that. He has become, in fact, <laughs> invisible. We met him on the road. He was getting my stuff for me. Commanding an army of the absolute. <laughs> As if he would do that. Come on. Baldur's Gate. He wouldn't. I put an arrow through his eye myself. Only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. This is before I died, you remember? And the wit to know when it will not avail you, I think. We must try another way. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. Hey, <laughs> cat's got a fucking. Don't be shy. Have a gander. I'm, I'm on a date. No, no, yeah, but you got a. Uh... You're, you're, um. I'm inspired. Yeah, for being a. Uh... For role playing, I guess. Is there anything to get you to tonight? Oh no, I've got plenty of beer, but thank you. Gotta talk to the people you want to talk to, bitch. Um, I think we have to go talk to the woman above. She informed us that we need to go talk to her. So, you know. Trolls report more activity among the cultists. Means we need to kill that guy faster. Seems that way. All right. Prevent that girl's death. I think the two will work. Have a gander at the finest stock. Finder. I know she did. Trinkets and doodars. Let me make sure I, I have. Let me make sure I have all my stuff on. Gonna give Carla heal. Oh Carla. yeah, sure. I don't know, I can use a short rest if you want. If you want to, I don't have the ability to heal, so... 
we didn't do a short rest, so I don't have my channel oath. Is what I mean. All right, time to see what new horrors waiting for us. I'm here, beautiful. Yeah, you just have to make skip this part. We know what she's doing. <laughs> Oh, all right, all right. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. I hear you and your tadpole will be our offense. Free from the Absolute's influence. It's almost too good. Let me guess. Jahira sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Oh, thank you. Perfect. But there are places it won't help. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The harp. Ketherick is a frightening man. But you have something he doesn't. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. Hello, taller. What's that dude's name from Shrek? Uh, Prince Charming. Nope. I've been blessed. Oh, Lord Farquaad. Farquaad. Yeah. <laughs> Regular size Farquaad. You can hear all about him from himself. He's a flaming fist, or was. Came with the others when we created this haven. And I thank you for your hospitality. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick, alive. Oh. I just tell him to fuck off. Tell him to seriously fuck off, I mean, it's really... Pathetic. The, the absolute. Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. He already, he already has. Shut up, these sick ass weeds, bitch. I can call my fucking dudes to me. She has those Cristo. Fuck you. 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 Fuck Mm. To prevent her being hit. <laughs> when Cora outside was just scratching his nails, then like he's trying to do something, something in the wood. Is he like a vampire? What? What is he? You'll make excellent fertilizer. <laughs>
she heal herself? Don't look at him. Doing great, Harper Lynn. Why did you move away? Because I can't do- I, I, I have to do range, I can't do fucking- Oh no, I've got the glitch, I'm just a pair of pants. Oh my god, no cat, you are so much better, look at my fucking stream! <laughs> what are you doing? My god, I am- A fucking god out. amongst men. <laughs> Fast tea bagger. <laughs> uh, do not look at liar if you have seizures. The flashing may cause you to develop distress. <laughs> you are just such a fucking mess, cat. Woo! <laughs> Do you even have to cast blur? <laughs> hey, loser. Sing a song if he died. Did he? Didn't sound like it. You need to stop T posing. <laughs> I'm T posing? Like you're you're like A posing and then crouching or something? No no. You're slipping between like an A pose that's above your body and and your gen your general sword holding holding pose. So that's what, like you're flashing very quickly between the two. Oh, that explains all the holes in the movie stuff. Isabel, you fucking idiot! We create a fucking protection area around you, and you fucking ru Fucking woman. Breathe deep and move. Ignition. Apparently, they're undead. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they're fools. So, radiant damage is probably good. If you but we need to kill that one that's out there with him right now. I hear him like fucking deranged mumbling. Is that him? I swear to God, I'm not going crazy. <laughs>
Excellent work, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Tuesday. Oh boy! Oh boy, cat! What? <laughs> Something about looking at your character caused the entire map to unload and reload. <laughs> This fight, you're gonna have to unload and reload. Is, is are you are you broken? You're not moving or something? Yeah, I'm just I'm still a pair of pants. Okay, yeah, well, that, that, that's the look, cat. We can finish the fight, and then we can save for the night. Yeah, that's what I said. That works tonight. Wow. Hello. <laughs> I have to make the system a working state possible. Did I miss? Did that? I mean, like two damage. Oh, there oh. we go. <laughs> I'm coming for you, bitch. What? <laughs> this this fucking map is just a mess. There's that fucking dark room beneath that keeps like acting weirdly. Doing a rage attack and fucking. These boots have seen everything. Yeah, by the way, you can jump down, and if you don't take. If you take less than two falling damage, you apparently ignore it. Going prone. Because, uh, your, your armor. Oh, please stop focusing on her. It's so much worse. <laughs> the game, the map's trying to track you. <laughs> it's just like, yep. It's trying to load between you and those two states. Kill that last one for he kills our friend. That Harper Nasa. Everybody's favorite Harper. <laughs> my poor fucking I said my Steam's friend list keeps launching Terraria and this the, the Terraria mod loader. Which is just, you know, a story in and of itself. <laughs> You there, Kat? Yep, I was trying to see if there was anything else I could do. It's fine if you can. Uh, either one of the NPCs or, um... Our lack will take care of it. Hopefully. Yeah, I can't aim to him, can I? That's fine. Nope. Uh, Another parasite. Collect it. It might be useful. We just have a pair of legs. Isabel, are you alright? I'm fine. <coughs> That's like a great angle. Anal. Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, <laughs> Isabel. They know how important you are. But yes, cinematography. Kederick will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, Everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Why does a man like him do anything? 
power, spite, some kind of twisted personal morality. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive, I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Now that we have you, I hope I won't have to. <laughs> I never said you'd be saying again. I'm getting tired. I never get tired of hearing that. <laughs> For Catherick will have none on you. End this. Uh, maybe we should ask someone else. Who? No one cares. No one cares. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, uh, something. Thank you, everybody. We will. Actually, I can. Uh, let's you know. Let's talk to his corpse real quick before we go. Am I still wearing the? No. First, I need to change my form. So, if you didn't know, by the way, right, Cat, the um, if you have an people who you killed won't talk to you, right? Do you cast this guy's self first? They will, because they can't recognize you. The corpse regards you lifelessly. <laughs> Orders of the general absolute. Fuck your shirt, though. I took his armor off of him. Oh, yeah. Nice. Catherick Thorn. Guess we did that already. Cross cursed lands carry the light outside the inn, buried near graveyard. She found out trusted. Squad captured, enlightened. Marcus Falgo. Last well, person, who answered me? Raised in Baldur's Gate. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Thank you for watching. We'll be back next time, which will be tomorrow, probably. Okay. See you all then. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the hell that noise was. <laughs> Bye. Uh. Uh.